Hi, everybody. This is Pastor Harold again. Hope things are going well for you. And man, have you ever thought things would work out the way they've been working this past week? Um, I want to take a moment just to encourage everyone uh, for us to stay focused on God throughout this time. I know uh, in times like this, we, we tend to really focus on the circumstances and the things that are going on around us. But I'm reminded uh, in Deuteronomy chapter 31, I want to read a couple of verses for you. It says in uh, verse 6, it says, Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, he is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. And then again in verse 8, he says, and, and the Lord, he is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be dismayed. You know, a couple of times there he tells us, that God's going to be with us. So whatever is going on with us in our nation today, uh, in your own family, uh, God's going to be there with you. And I want to encourage you with that, to not give up and uh, to, to not get focused on the things around us. Maybe these seem like insurmountable odds and challenges that we have before us, and they are big. I'm, I'm not demeaning those, but God is going to be bigger. And so I want to encourage you uh, to, to stay strong, stay focused, and know that God's going with us through it. We're not on our own here. A couple other things that I want to encourage you to do is one is to make sure that you take care of yourself. There are some guidelines that have been given that I think we need to take very seriously. We need to be uh, social distancing some. We need to be uh, washing our hands, not touching our face, doing all the things that the CDC has encouraged us to do. But the main thing is to just take care of ourselves and also through this, be taking care of others. Uh, be considerate of those who are vulnerable to this uh, this virus and uh, to make sure that we're not putting them in awkward, tough situations. So again, take care of yourself and take care of others. Now, I do want to uh, mention a couple of things here about our church. Our church calendar uh, has been cleared now through April 25th. I know our governor has asked for everyone to not be gathering together again until April uh, the, the, the 16th, but we're going to go ahead and extend that just one more week. And uh, of course, it breaks my heart that that does include Easter Sunday, uh, that we're not going to be able to be get together. But you know, one thing that I've come to understand is that Jesus is still Lord. He is risen. And we're going to celebrate it that day through our live stream services. So we want you to be encouraged that we're, we're going to be able to celebrate that. We're just going to do it in a different way. But we want to encourage you to join us on Easter Sunday because we're going to do some very special things here at the church with those who are able to uh, be there as part of the praise team. But also want you to understand that our small groups, we have five different groups that are going to be having uh, live classes uh, on the internet. So we want you to join those and on our Facebook page and also on our web page, we're going to be putting the locations for those for you to go online to and hit that and they'll directly send you to their Sunday school classes on those appointed times. So we are still getting to be together. And so if you're a part of a class that may not be doing that, we want you to be encouraged uh, to find one of those other classes that are doing it and be a, become a part of them uh, for these next few weeks. And we also want to encourage someone that maybe you're not a, even a part of our church. Maybe you're not part of a small group somewhere. Go to our web page, go to our Facebook page, and those things will be located there for you to know when to go online and where and which class you could be a part of. I want you also to remember that we're doing a live stream on Wednesday night, uh, Facebook Live. We're going to be doing that, and that starts tonight. I'm really excited about that. I hope you will join us there. Uh, we're just going to be doing some things, talking about Scripture, uh, answering questions if you have them. We're going to especially have some prayer time, the prayer time for our nation, for those who are sick, for our leaders, for our community, for Lawton, for those who are making very difficult decisions. We're going to be joining together tonight, praying for them. So I want to encourage you to come and be a part of that with us. Then also, on, I want to urge you to keep up with our student ministries, with our children's and preschool ministries. Uh, they have different things going on all week long uh, on their private sections of our Facebook. But if you'll notify the church, and we will be able to connect you to them, and they can give you permission to join those sites, and we want you to be a part of it. Or you could go to that uh, site yourself and then be requesting to be invited to be a part of that because they have some great things going on. I know John's doing some Sunday school lessons. I know they have other activities. I know we have the Awana 
That is, uh, we, we're going to continue that in some way. So that will be on the Kids Connection page of our, of our Facebook. So please go there and check all those out. And I know you're going to have some exciting times uh, because we're not forgetting everything that's been going on through our church. So we will have Awana and different things for our children and our preschool as well. And then lastly, I want to encourage you to continue to help each other. Check on each other, not just by Facebook or anything like that, but literally contact each other, kind of know what's going on and see if there's some needs that we can still minister. Because one thing I want you to understand, the church is still the church. Even though we're not able to meet here on Sunday morning, we're going to have Bible studies. We're going to have prayer times. We're going to have everything that we can do. We're going to be encouraging each other, uh, helping each other. So again, the church hasn't stopped. I know Satan desires for us to be that way, but my friends, the church is still alive because you know what? Jesus Christ is risen and he's still in control of all this and he is not leaving us. He is not forsaking us and he never will. So let me encourage you with that. And I hope you'll join us again tonight uh, at 6.30 for our, our Facebook Live. We're gonna have a, some special prayer time, some scripture and just a couple other items that I think you'll you'll find enjoyable. So hopefully we'll uh, know that you're tuning in with us tonight at 6:30. But again, God bless you. Have a have a great day and and be safe and take care of each other. God bless you.